Chris is the Everyman's Auto Midlife Crisis Family Vehicle Series. So if you have kids, but you've decided to spaz out and you want to buy something insane, but you still have to fit your kids in that car, these are the cars I'm trying to present to you now. Today's is the 2013 Porsche Cayenne GTS. GTS means you get a 4.3 liter V8, makes 420 horsepower. It, is, it has four doors, it has a, a back end for cargo capacity. It's not huge, it's not a big vehicle. It's not bigger than the Jeep Grand Cherokee that we had last week, but still a good sized vehicle. Things I really like about it, the throttle response, it's a little touchier, it's a little quicker on the throttle. It doesn't have as much horsepower as the Grand Cherokee, but it but it it gets to it a little sooner. It felt the, the, I don't know if the torque or just the throttle response itself felt quicker. I would need to spend a little more time with that. I didn't spend a lot of time on this car, but I spent some. Um, other things I really like, the side bolstering on the seats uh, was, was very, uh, very good in the Cayenne. Um, the Grand Cherokee was, was set a little wider, maybe for our larger American uh, consumers. While well, the Germans basically said this is what it needs to be to, to help the performance of the vehicle. And if, if you're too fat to fit in it, you're, you're too fat to buy the car. Go, go get something else. The Germans are very mm, about that. They want, they want the rigidness, the rules. This is what you do to make sense here. Um, you're not really worried about the fuel economy out of a... A 4.0 liter Porsche V8. Uh, Porsche is a very, very good brand for functionality and reliability for, for years now. And the Cayenne has basically saved the company and let them make more back crap crazy 911s, which we all like. The interior of the Porsche is phenomenal. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, was, the one that we had was black uh, with kind of red stitching everywhere. The seat belts were red. I like, I'm a big fan of that. I thought they were, they were good looking seat belts. The performance is is very good. It it's a little lighter than the Grand Cherokee, and if that number's wrong, I'm sorry because it feels a little lighter than the Grand Cherokee. It makes less horsepower, so and and it's a heavy vehicle. Don't get me wrong, but it, generally it it felt lighter. It, it would rotate around the back end would kind of rotate around more in the corner. Also felt like it understeered a little more. So as long as my entry speed was good to get in the corner, I could then kind of kind of give it a little more throttle and get the back end to kind of rotate out a little bit for me. But on some of the corners, there was definitely some understeer. And I think the reason for that is it only has 265 tires up front. Uh, that's 265 tires everywhere, where the Grand Cherokee had 295s. So tire-wise, it the Grand Cherokee performs a little better on, on like a slalom or a, a, a kind of a technical course. Uh, in a drag race, I have no idea which one wins. I don't know the zero to 60 time for the Cayenne, but I know that I liked it. I don't know if I liked it $106,000 though. It's, it's a very nice interior. The Grand Cherokee is pretty good interior. But I don't, I don't know that the niceness of the Porsche interior oversells what the Grand Cherokee is able to do. The only, th the only way I think you go with the, the Porsche is you're buying a badge. You want that Stuttgart Porsche badge on your vehicle. You want that, that script on the back. Who can argue with that? I mean, don't get me wrong, I want a Porsche. I don't have the money to just go buy one though. I'd love an old Porsche, that'd be awesome. Like a 70s Porsche, It'd be fantastic. But I got kids still, so we can't do that yet. So, Porsche Cayenne GTS, very good car. Very good car. It's a very expensive car, but it's a very good car. So, that's all we got for this week. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Everyman's Auto. Facebook, you can like us on our website at everymansauto.net in the upper right hand corner. Click the like button. If you're watching our video on YouTube, you could always subscribe. It wouldn't kill you. Can't hurt, right? I guess it could hurt if like you click subscribe and then immediately fell on your face and it's all bleeding and bloody. That, that would hurt. So, 
Join us next time. Our, our next video will not be part of our Midlife Crisis Family Vehicle Series. It will just be a, a video car diary where we, we sit down and talk about a car that we got to drive. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Tune in next time where I will embarrass myself, embarrass myself again on the Internet. See, I can't even say embarrass myself on the Internet clearly. Stupid head cold. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.